Well, you know it and I know it. Americans are fed up with our government from the inability to secure our borders, illegal immigration gone wild, and our economy. Something's not right. It's something that I labeled the perfect storm over a year ago, and now Pat Buchanan has a new book out that says the same thing. We'll sit down with Pat Buchanan for a full 30 minutes coming up at the bottom of the hour. First, I, I want you to think about our economy for a second and think of it in the terms of a long chain of dominoes, each one representing a different issue. You got one domino for the housing market, another one for the stock market, one for our dollar, one for the unemployment rate, but the last domino is the most important one, and that is consumer spending. It now makes up at least 70% of our entire economy. And once that falls, well, let's just say you want that one to stay upright. The good news is that since these dominoes are all in a row, we can clearly see when the last one is in trouble because the other ones before it start to fall first. Unfortunately, that is exactly what I believe is starting to happen right now. Let me give you a couple of the headlines. 40,000 people recently applied for jobs at two Walmarts in the Chicago area. 40,000. 6,000 people just applied for 300 jobs at a Walmart in Cleveland. Home prices collapsed in the third quarter, falling 4.5% from last year. That is the largest drop since Standard & Poor's began their index over 20 years ago. The Dow's decline became an official correction yesterday. That's the first correction since 2003. And just today, an Arab country, Abu Dubai, has used $7.5 billion in oil money to bail out Citigroup. That shows you not only how much trouble Citigroup is in, but also how the falling dollar is allowing foreigners to buy up our assets and our real estate. Gang, the dominoes are lined up. And I believe they are beginning to fall. Peter Schiff is the president of Europe Pacific Capital and author of Crash Proof, How to Profit from the Coming Economic Collapse. Um, Peter, the first thing that people will say is, Glenn, Black Friday, it was great. People were out spending money, despite the fact that oil prices or gas prices are over $3 a barrel. Um, despite the fact everybody on television seems to want to talk the economy down. They, they went out and spent a lot of money. Unfortunately, they borrowed it. You know, there was an article that was in the uh, Wall Street Journal over the weekend uh, looking at some of the mortgages that Citibank holds. And one of them was a $625,000 adjustable rate mortgage that belonged to a woman who bought her home uh, 20 years ago but paid $105,000 for it. She had refinanced five times over the past six years, borrowed half a million dollars, and spent every penny of it. And so when Americans are going to the malls spending borrowed money, this is how we get into trouble. This is not how we grow an economy. This is how we destroy an economy. Okay, but y you say one of your the things that you're high on, and I am too, and that is get out of debt. Stop spending money. Start saving money. However, the flip side of that is if you've got an economy that is 70% built on people spending money, what happens when people stop spending money? Well, well, that's the problem that we're in. We've built our phony economy on the consumption uh, financed with borrowed money. We have to stop. The fact that we're going to have a recession, well, that's just like a drug addict. You know, if he wants to get healthy, he's going to have to go through withdrawal. That's the price you pay for being an addict in the first place. We've got to get a healthy economy that is, that is basically driven by savings and investment, and we can't get back to a healthy economy from this phony economy without going through a okay. very painful recession. But you know, Peter, I, I, I believe, um, you know, I believe this uh, domino thing is real. I, I think we're in deep, deep trouble. 2012, people start retiring, the baby boomers. This, this uh, Social Security and Medicare uh, crunch is coming our way. If we went door to door and, and said, give us all of your possessions, give us everything you own, you still would be trillions of dollars short from paying this stuff well, off. How, how do you possibly get out of this situation without a collapse? We can't. That, that's the problem. We can't get out of the situation. And unfortunately, most Americans are not going to be able to retire. They're just the dollars that they saved. They're not going to be able to buy the things that they need. Uh, we're destroying our currency. Unfortunately, we're trying to prop this whole mess up you know, with the Federal Reserve. And we're just seeing the beginning of this. When you see the, uh, Abu Dubai come in, Abu Dhabi rather, come in and, you know, oh, yeah. and, and, buy, and buy part of Citi Citibank, uh, this is just the beginning. This is foreigners buying up our assets, and they're going to buy up a lot more because our assets are going to get a lot cheaper. You know, the, the rest of America doesn't see this because, um, uh, you know, fortunately for you, you don't, you don't live in New York, but um, I'm here on the weekends, and 
there's not a soul that speaks English unless they have an English accent. People come here literally uh, on the weekends from Europe with empty suitcases. Yeah, they're, and they, and they're, they're just they're, buying everything. They're actually organizing these shopping tours where Europeans right. are coming here. And the crazy thing about it is they're coming here and they're buying products that we imported right. from them in the first okay, place. So it makes no sense. Here's what I want to know, and I've only got 30 seconds here for an answer. How is it that we can, we don't feel it, or the average person doesn't feel this? The government says we have only 3% inflation, yet. It's 50 cents more their euro than, than our dollar. Well, well, first of all, the government is lying about inflation. It's a lot worse than 3%. But one of the reasons we don't even feel the full impact of it is because foreigners are absorbing it for us. They're eating it. They're suffering the inflation that we're exporting. But that's all going to end. I mean, it doesn't make any sense for an Italian shoe company to sell to export shoes to America and then have Italian citizens fly here to buy them cheaper than they can buy them you know, in mm. Milan. They're going to raise prices to us, and we're going to see a tremendous increase in consumer prices over the next few years.